Section 40.245. What is the procedure for an alcohol screening test using a saliva ASD or a breath tube ASD? 40.245a. As the STT or BAT, you must take the following steps when using the saliva ASD. 40.245a1. Check the expiration date on the device or on the package containing the device and show it to the employee. You may not use the device after its expiration date. 40.245a2. Open an individually wrapped or sealed package containing the device in the presence of the employee. 40.245A3. Offer the employee the opportunity to use the device. If the employee uses it, you must instruct the employee to insert it into his or her mouth and use it in the manner described by the device's manufacturer. 40.245A4. If the employee chooses not to use the device, or in all cases in which a new test is necessary because the device did not activate, see paragraph A7 of this section. You must insert the device into the employee's mouth and gather saliva in the manner described by the device's manufacturer. You must wear single-use examination or similar gloves while doing so and change them following each test. 40.245A5 when the device is removed from the employee's mouth, you must follow the manufacturer's instructions regarding necessary next steps in ensuring that the device has activated. 40.245A6 Sub 1 If you are unable to successfully follow the procedures of paragraphs A3 through A5 of this section, e.g. the device breaks, you drop the device on the floor, you must discard the device and conduct a new test using a new device. 40.245A6 Sub 2. The new device you use must be one that has been under your control or that of the employee before the test. 40.245A6 Sub 3. You must note on the remarks line of the ATF the reason for the new test. Note, you may continue using the same ATF with which you began the test. 40.245A6 Sub 4. You must offer the employee the choice of using the device or having you use it unless the employee, in the opinion of the STT or BAT, was responsible, e.g. the employee dropped the device for the new test needing to be conducted. 40.245A6 Sub 5. If you are unable to successfully follow the procedures of paragraphs A3 through A5 of this section on the new test, you must end the collection and put an explanation on the remarks line of the ATF. 40.245A6 Sub 6 You must then direct the employee to take a new test immediately using an EBT for the screening test. 40.245A7 if you are able to successfully follow the procedures of paragraphs A3 through A5 of this section, but the device does not activate, you must discard the device and conduct a new test in the same manner as provided in paragraph A6 of this section. In this case, you must place the device into the employee's mouth to collect saliva for the new test. 40.245A8 you must read the result displayed on the device no sooner than the device's manufacturer instructs. In all cases, the result displayed must be read within 15 minutes of the test. You must then show the device and its reading to the employee and enter the result on the ATF. 40.245A9 You must never reuse devices, swabs, gloves, or other materials used in saliva testing. 40.245A10. You must note the fact that you used a saliva ASD in Step 3 of the ATF. 40.245B. As the STT or BAT, you must take the following steps when using a breath tube ASD. 40.245B1. 
check the expiration date on the detector device and the electronic analyzer or on the package containing the device and the analyzer and show it to the employee. You must not use the device or the analyzer after their expiration date. You must not use an analyzer which is not specifically pre-calibrated for the device being used in the collection. 40.245B2 Remove the device from the package and secure an inflation bag onto the appropriate end of the device, as directed by the manufacturer on the device's instructions. 40.245B3 Break the tube's ampule in the presence of the employee. 40.245B4 Offer the employee the opportunity to use the device. If the employee chooses to use, e.g. hold the device, instruct the employee to blow forcefully and steadily into the blowing end of the device until the inflation bag fills with air, approximately 12 seconds. 40.245B5 If the employee chooses not to hold the device, you must hold it and provide the use instructions in paragraph B4 of this section. 40.245B6 When the employee completes the breath process, take the device from the employee, or if you are holding it, remove it from the employee's mouth, remove the inflation bag, and prepare the device to be read by the analyzer in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. 40.245B7 Sub 1 if you are unable to successfully follow the procedures of paragraphs B4 through B6 of this section, e.g. the device breaks apart, the employee did not fill the inflation bag, you must discard the device and conduct a new test using a new one. 40.245 B7 Sub 2 The new device you use must be one that has been under your control or that of the employer before the test. 40.245B7 Sub 3 You must note on the remarks line of the ATF the reason for the new test. Note, you may continue using the same ATF with which you began the test. 40.245B7 Sub 4 You must offer the employee the choice of holding the device or having you hold it unless the employee, in your opinion, was responsible e.g. the employee failed to fill the inflation bag, for the new test needing to be conducted. 40.245B7 Sub 5 If you are unable to successfully follow the procedures of paragraphs B4 through B6 of this section on the new test, you must end the collection and put an explanation on the remarks line of the ATF. 40.245B7 Sub 6 you must then direct the employee to take a new test immediately using another type of ASD, e.g. saliva device, or an EBT. 40.245B8 If you were able to successfully follow the procedures of paragraphs B4 through B6 of this section, and after having waited the required amount of time directed by the manufacturer for the detector device to incubate, you must place the device in the analyzer in accordance with the manufacturer's directions. The result must be read from the analyzer no earlier than the required incubation time of the device, and in all cases, the result must be read within 15 minutes of the test. 40.245B9 You must follow the manufacturer's instructions for determining the result of the test. You must show the analyzer result to the employee and record the result on Step 3 of the ATF. 40.245B10 You must never reuse detector devices or any gloves used in breath tube testing. The inflation bag must be voided of air following removal from a device. Inflation bags and electronic analyzers may be reused, but only in accordance with the manufacturer's directions. 40.245B11 You must note the fact that you used a breath tube device in Step 3 of the ATF.